Hi, I'm Jennifer Stenhouse. I'm a metalsmith, jewelry artist, and uh, sculpture person here at Building C Studios. I teach at Pratt Pine Art Center and here in Seattle, Washington. A lot of my inspiration comes from the time when um, lithography was being created, photography was being created, um, and sort of that industrial change revolution that was going on globally. So a lot of the artists that were working during that period were doing some really innovative things and looking at the world in kind of a new way um, due to new technology. Uh, so there are a lot of people from that period, the 19th century, that I'm, I'm really inspired by. This particular piece, is, it was sort of at that transition point um, between 2D and 3D. It, um, I got to, to University of Wisconsin for grad school and um, was doing a lot of shadow boxes and still working with the photography images and, and including those into these shadow boxes. And one of the, the sculpture professors who had come to my studio to really look at what I was doing, um, he and I sat down and he said uh, uh, about the shadow boxes, well, you know, these aren't 3D work, they're 2D. And I was like, well, no, I'm, I'm making, you know, small scale sculptures. And, and I was, uh, along with the shadow boxes. And uh, George said, uh, George Kramer said, um, well, no, they're, you're still, even, even your sculptures are meant to be seen from the front. You're not working your way all the way around the piece. And I, it really took me back, because I, I really thought of them as being three-dimensional because they had depth and not so much uh, a three-dimensional image all the way around, meant to be viewed from all three sides, four sides. And so I, um, I really took it as a challenge to create these pieces that were deliberately meant to be seen from all sides. The best time to come to visit Building C is usually on our second Saturday art walks. We have uh, open house from six to nine on every second Saturday. The, I think the most fun ones are probably in the fall and in the winter around Christmas, before Christmas, uh, because everybody has everything out. But the cool thing is that you get to see the artists in their studios working, uh, producing art, as well as what they have that is that is coming out of their studio right that second, as well as what they have, um, sort of the history of what they've been working on.